The new season of Siege came out yesterday, Operation Solar Raid. I've been pretty hyped for this season because we're getting an op that isn't useless, a new map, a new rank system, improved battle pass, and apparently an update to the anti-cheat that should theoretically remove cheaters. And now the rank system has been mysterious. They told us that there will be a rank and a hidden skill rating. But little did I know that this basically means your rank is not at all a factor when matchmaking. It only uses your skill rating. And for some reason, Siege thinks I'm a champ player. So this led to all my lobbies having only champ players. Oh, already pushed down. Oh, one bottom square. Where are the twitch? Oh, from blue. I want to say the skill rating is also broken. Like, dude, I'm not saying, like, I'm bad at the game or anything, but, like, I'm definitely not a champion-level player, and it's only putting me against champions. Like, every person I look at has a champion charm. Like, it should be against plats, I imagine. Like, this guy has a champion charm, too. Like, I guess I'll take the compliment, but, bro, this is, this is not going to be fun for me. Killer for the second one. Hmm. He swung so far back. Dude, this twitch is insane. Nice, good try. He's also really dumb. Why did he run in just to kill me? Another champ. Oh no, it's the same guy. There are too many champs right now in my games. And I know that they said skill rating would be the main factor for matchmaking, but I, like, I'm copper five. I don't think that the game should be this sweaty right off the bat. But I also can't blame the system, because it probably sees my varsity gaming charm and just assumes I'm a champ level player. Which makes complete sense, almost everyone who has this is. And you can also get this charm for free by subbing my Twitch channel with Twitch Prime. Now moving on from the new rank system, remember how I mentioned that there's supposed to be no cheaters this season? Turns out that might not be entirely true. Oh. Okay, he knows. I guess they had a camera watching me? Uh-oh. Oh, we got a champion on our team, apparently. We got two champions on our team. This may not be the fun ranked experience I was hoping for right off the bat. There's also, I, I can't reject the idea that someone could be cheating. I doubt it. But, uh... Well, chat, I'm going to now be stuck at zero MMR. Oh, th are they DDoSing the server? Oh my god. I was optimistic, man. I I said, I was like, I, I don't know what it is. I, I'm actually feeling, like looking forward to this. And then now we have... They DDoS three people, and fairly certain the guy is cheating, since they had no drone on me and he just pre-fired me and then pre-fired everyone. Well, whoever is Q-sniping me, team killed the cheater, so that's something. Varsity Gaming has a foot fetish. If you guys ever wondered what Rob does on a day-to-day -day basis when he's supposed to be working, that's what he does. I'm gonna pre fired by the other guy. Oh, he left the game. There are two people on my team dead already. How's everyone dead already? I wrote out one tweet. Side of the door, I think it's gonna be on the left. Oh, yeah, let's look at my drone skin. Wow, that definitely makes up for the fact that there's cheaters in this game. So, unfortunate.
Nice. On the door. Was insane. Shot the ace somehow. I just love decks, bro. Oh, I thought they were like right next to them. And the cheater's back. No one's in the but there's a It's Mozzie. All we need is them to team kill the cheater, and and we're up. Hey, they team killed. Let's go. Before I forget. Oh, send friend request. They just have any Just two cargo. He just walked into that. I saw his toe. I didn't see. You could see all me on the stairs to that room. Wait. All I could see was his toe, and he could see all of me. Okay. Whatever. They're dead. Let's go. We beat a cheater on day one of the new season. Oh my god, this is way too much for the first day. So now, okay, let's let's look at this from the perspective of a uh, let's look at this from the perspective of a new player. So you join Siege because you're like, oh, you know, this game got a huge update. Everyone's talking about it. Let's let's play it. And we won't account for them facing really really good players because they wouldn't deal with that. But dealing with cheaters still in the new season, and you start in the lowest rank possible, I feel like that'd be so demotivating. I feel like that'd be really tough for new players to get into. And honestly, it's feeling really tough for even me to get into. Like I said, I was excited to grind for ranked, but I didn't expect it to be this tough right away. The typical rank system that most other games employ is that you play in the lowest rank and you work your way up. The good players will filter out, and the bad players stay down there. I could be wrong here, but I don't think I've ever heard of a game that's doing what Siege is, where even though you're in copper rank, you only play against champion players. It seems very ass backwards. Now, unfortunately, what made it even worse, and I will give Ubisoft a little bit of leeway here, you know, this is typical launch day stuff, but the invite system was not working at all. For once in my life, I had friends who were, one, excited to play the new season, and two, wanted to play with me. So I want to jump at the opportunity of having friends to play with, except for we couldn't. Basically what happened is that you could not actually accept invites from other players. You could send them and see them, but if you accepted them, nothing would happen. So we spent almost an hour trying to get this to work. Alright, now I don't want to downplay your mood, but apparently the invite system is not working. So how the fuck are we going to play? Mm, that's, that's the problem at hand. Yo, yo, yo. Hello. So Alright, let's play. Apparently invite system does not work. What? Let me know when you sent it. I already did send it. Nope. Oh, failed to do the action. That's new. Okay. You need to be in multiplayer game session to send a game invite. Ha Wait, I have to be in a game queue to send you an invite? Oh, it probably just it means says, like online. It probably doesn't think that you're actually online. Hi, right, man. Well, uh, I can go play Gotham Knights. <laughs> I'll, I guess I'll let you know if anything changes. 
Spoiler alert, nothing changed. Now with this new Rank 2.0 system, I really wanted to do like a copper to diamond type series. I figured I'd start in copper, work my way up, and this time I could actually sweat instead of my normal meme around in copper strats. But given that I'm only playing against champion players, I don't really see how I can do that. What this means is I'll just be playing normal games from the beginning of the season until the end, and I'll eventually win enough matches where I get to platinum, because we gain 80 RP when we win, but we lose 5 when we lose. So even with like a 25% win rate, I'll eventually reach platinum. So I guess this is where I'll let you guys kind of decide. What do you guys want to see for my rank series this season? I was just thinking of posting one called Rank 2.0, and I'd upload on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. I'll play with friends whenever they're on, or I'll just play solo and just see how high up of a rank I get. If you guys want to see that, I'm down to do it. It is just going to suck a little bit when I'm already facing champions from day one. But let me know what you guys want to see in the comments down below. And now I'm going to show you what was actually my first match of the season. So good. This oh, I don't have streamer mode. Wait, wait, is it the real VG? Oh no. Okay, what are the odds that this lobby is just going to be like all diamond players and super, super sweaty. Like I said, this was my first game of the season. Little did I know I was going to be completely right. Wait, am I at 60 FOV? No. Why does everything feel so, so tight? Like, tight like a finger in a butthole. I can walk in. Is there one left? I didn't even realize I was staring at him. Top of the stairs, top of the stairs. He just sprayed through. Nice. nice. Wait, oh, it is 60 FOV. You can't change it. Because, like, this is 60 FOV, right? That means it also is going to... Oh, it affects my sensitivity. Because your sensitivity is based off FOV. So, like, when I try to look down or move, it takes long... Oh, God, this is going to be a rough first game. God, this is really fucking my sensitivity. All he had to do was cover me, and he just stood next to me while the guy shot at both of us. This is definitely like a plot lobby, I can already feel it. Tough. Actually, let's check that. Oh no, that okay. So it's just drone FOV. Oh, okay. That makes it really weird. What is this electricity? Is it full of stairs? So dangerous. can see a fraction of his hood sleeve. He can see all of me, I guess. Oh no, he could see like my neck. Best 
Oh, he was in piano. My team could just not sit right on top of me and let me play. I'd be very appreciative. They use both EMPs. Uh -oh. Pain. Library stairs, library stairs. Bye. One main. Oh. Oh. Is that what he meant by main? Fireplace? Doesn't peek and he wins. He killed me? You shitting me? I don't know why I have impacts on Thunderbird. Did they remove her C4? He's on the window. He's on the window. He's on the window. Play time, play time. Jumped in, jumped in. Piano. Get shit, Boston! Get shit, Boston! Yeah! Terrified right now. Can you help? No. Oh my god. How many drones are you gonna send after me? In, inside, swing, work. You got that. Blue stairs, blue stairs. Rip. I can hear everything so much more, but I feel like I'm still not hearing footsteps. Somehow that sledge ran behind me and ran down the stairs with me on it, and I didn't hear his footsteps once. This is actually something I want to ask you guys about. Have you guys noticed a difference in audio? In that case, if you watch it back, you can actually very subtly hear his footsteps. It's just that when I was talking, you couldn't hear them when they were at their loudest. But overall, sound is different. Like the clatter of metal is louder. The ambiance is a little bit more noticeable. I feel like they changed something, but I just can't quite put my finger on it. That was much lower than I wanted. Oh, it still destroyed the camera. Let's go. Got Solus from below. Jeez, okay, I'm so, I'm not unmuting him from that. I should have dropped the diffuser. I understand that's my bad, but my ears, god damn. So how does the new, am I just gonna be copper? Wow. So yeah, overall not the best day, but we're gonna hope that tomorrow's better and hopefully a little bit easier in the rank lobbies. Now I also want to include stuff about the battle pass because I know a lot of people always ask about that. I was very confused, and I hope I'm not alone in this. Four, I've already gotten 40 levels on the battle pass? 
Ow! Oh my god, this is so discombobulating. Where? What am I looking at? I have no idea what this is. Or like how I navigate. How do I? Do I have to go through this? I can't go through that? Why can't I click on the map? Wait, I only have two tokens? I'm on level 40. Wait, I already own this tile. Oh no, this is just the bundle, okay. Okay, so I use my two tokens, but I have so much more progress to be made. So I, I somehow am level 40, but I only have two tokens. Uh, that can't be right, I'm gonna restart. Okay, attempt number two. I lost 20 levels and I still don't get any tokens? Okay, I'm gonna restart again. And if it doesn't work, someone in chat said you probably have to play a game in order to get the tokens. We'll try that after. Yeah, I had to end up playing a game. I got my tokens! Chat! We finally got it. We didn't get scammed. Now, I have no idea how to actually check everything. See, now I can't see what the items are on this map. I have to go through this map, which, no offense, is garbage. This map is terrible. I c How am I supposed to navigate this? It's also really hard to just go through and see what everything is because I have to like manually scroll through the entire thing. They could have done a lot better of a job with this, but... All right, here's the first drone skin that's only available in the battle pass. Looks like it's winking at you because one eye is closed. But at least we finally got our tokens. Wait, so how many levels are there then? 900. Okay, so I just double counted some stuff. There is 100 stuff. Um, I guess I'll... Oh, wait. Oh, there's another drone skin. There's two. Replacing my Bravo packs I accidentally opened. Yeah, I accidentally opened three of them while trying to open esports packs. But if you want to watch me open more, I'll be opening a bunch of them on Saturday and uploading the video on Sunday. Now, as far as the battle pass goes, I honestly can't give you my impressions on the skins because scrolling through all that and checking every skin individually is way too complicated. I know the system is better for people who don't normally max out the battle pass, but just to present it, I liked the way it looked before. I do wish we could just look at the map and then click on what we wanted and then do the path through there instead of having to look at the legend and then scroll back to the map and then try to make your way through the map. It just seems too annoying. Maybe I just have a small brain, I don't know. But if the average consumer is dumb like me, not many of them are gonna figure this out. Now that being said, it does look like they upped some of the contents. I didn't verify this, but it looked like there's more Bravo packs than before and probably more Alpha packs than before. And at the very least, if there isn't, at least now I can choose to get them when I want them. So now I'll be able to get more for the Alpha pack opening we're doing this weekend. Now that's gonna be it for my video on the first day of the new season. Hopefully the next ones are more positive because I really don't want to hate on Siege this much. I do want Siege to be successful because when it's successful, I'm successful. But first day did not look good. Here's hoping for a better second day.